Thank you so much for having me. Look, we just got a call from the governor last week, and here's what he said. We have hundreds of ventilators that need fixing, and we, we need them to be fixed fast. I knew we could help, Bloom Energy could help. We are a, ma manufacturing is really in our DNA, and we have always believed that American manufacturing is necessary so we can stand on our own. Boy, during a time of crisis, or emergency, is that becoming real? So we said, this is our call to action. We have to help. So we sent an employee okay. in a pickup truck to Sacramento and picked up you know, 20 of the ventilators that the governor was talking about, brought it back. Over the weekend, we learned how to fix it, and we knew we could do this. Now, a facility in California and a facility in Delaware that we have, we have repurposed. And we think we can do hundreds of ventilators, close to 1,000 ventilators a week of refurbishment. This is the fastest way we can take existing ventilators that are out there, get them working, get it back to the hospitals, and it's a way to help. So along the way, what happened was I picked up the phone and called the CEO of Wire, which is one of the leading manufacturers of these ventilators. And here's what we worked out CEO to CEO. They will give us the spare parts to be able to fix this. They'll train our employees on the functional test and how to make sure that we get this done right. In return, they can simply repurpose their repair line within their factory to make more new ventilators. So then on this story building upon it, the CEO of Almo, which is a distribution company based in Philadelphia called us and said, let us volunteer and do the, all the logistics that you want of getting those ventilators from the hospital to you and from you to the hospitals. Let's do that. Our sales and marketing team came and said, why don't we pick up the phone and create a phone bank as well as email and call all the hospitals, letting them know that this is available. How can we help? So we created an 800 number. And we have an email, ventilators at bloomenergy.com. Anybody can send us a note. We want to help. One plus one plus one is greater than three. So we are all in this together. We have to make a difference. KR, it's, it's a very uh, encouraging story. And, uh, and, and congratulations and thank you for, for enacting all of it. I, I wonder if you have any uh, guidance, whether from Governor Newsom or, or from speaking to the players in the industry, uh, how much replenishing and, and fixing uh, old ventilators can make a difference relative to the manufacturing uh, of new ones. Is this game changing uh, for America's need for ventilators or, or do we still need to also manufacture a lot of new ones as well? I think it's and, and, and. But if you were to a factory that has never done ventilators before, if you're trying to set up a production line and get supply chains, make it, test it, train your people and get it out, it is probably a few weeks and few months. And what we understand is the need is today. The need is the next week, the following week. We also understand from Mr. Pence's statement, there's more than 10,000 of these ventilators. I have reasons to believe that that number is probably even mm -hmm. lower than what is being stated, because in one warehouse in Sacramento, there is more than 400 ventilators that need, you know, like refurbishment. KR, thank you so much for joining us and uh, thank you for the work. Keep up the good work. Uh, KR Sridhar there. Uh, now